good evening, this is to Nerdist the Human, and welcome back to our Rebel Prologue campaign of Medieval 2 Total War. And you join us at Khan, where last time we took over the Norman Fortress. They're now just left over there in London, and all of our pirate fleets mean that hopefully they won't be finding a way back anytime soon. Meanwhile, we have gone and grabbed the army that was there, army inverted commas, of course, and uh, made sure we got our longbowmen heading towards their homeland of Carnarvon. Excellent stuff. So over in Carnarvon, a few more units can join together and we can hopefully start making a push at some of our foes. On that note though, we did get ourselves a pretty good opportunity at the end of last time, which was this set of units spawning outside Edinburgh. Now, they can't get anywhere. They're stuck between the sea and this forest and army and the city. That's quite a few things, of course. We will just um, grab ourselves a couple ladders because... If they don't attack, I want the opportunity to walk in next turn. Remember, there's an army over here. If that Scottish army doesn't get involved or indeed starts wandering towards Dublin, for example, oh yeah, we can grab that for ourselves. And I'd very much like an extra general, if at all possible. So taking over Edinburgh without killing these two armies is pretty much my main objective. So we'll see if that is at all possible. We are though going to try and get the pirate ship around here just in case we need to evacuate this set of forces but uh, there is actually yeah a couple boats there so that's probably not going to happen nonetheless there are opportunities ahoy here at the start of the next turn and over here with the pope by the way if you forgot last time yeah a new army popped up giving us florence as well which is very nice indeed i need to invest some money into one of these settlements going forward it would be nice if the pope would build something in one of these towns allowing me to have I don't know, gain something from his short stay there. So hopefully, before I walk into Bologna next time, maybe the Pope would have actually built something there. And it looks like Carnarvon is indeed under siege by the Saxons. That is an interesting one. They had some very high quality troops in that army. So we'll have to see how well we can cope with that. We have a few infantrymen there. Okay, a sally from Scotland. Not surprising. Do I want to do it? No, not really. There are two generals. I could take out the faction air right now, mind you. If I were to do that, would they be clever enough to walk back in with their reinforcements? Because I could take him down with this force. And then my other army could just wander in. It might be worth a go, you know. Yeah, you know what? I don't know where they'd flee because we need to wander around, but I can't help yeah, pass up the opportunity to kill this man and hopefully then leave Edinburgh completely empty. Then I can waltz in. I've got to take that chance. Let's swing into battle, see if we can take him down. As the battle begins on our torrid, torrid day, I'm quite aware that this battle crashed the first time I tried it. We didn't get any further than this, so it seems like it's stable this time. But we shall see. This general is currently not actually charging so you know what i'm actually quite happy to move towards him because i do not want him to be the one charging into me and currently those towers won't be active because he's not inside the city so that's nice so let's get ourselves into a chunky chunky battle and that'll be absolutely grand get us a good charging with some very nice chargy lads chargy ch anyway the galoglachs are doing some charging you can see that they are yeah, getting a few early kills in, which is quite nice. They're chunky lads and they're doing the good work. Now, their reinforcements are quite a long way away. Their gate is still open, by the way. Oh, that's very interesting. So we're going to take this guy out and we can actually just run in straight away and take it if we're lucky. Oh, that's excellent news. You know what, Mr. General? Yeah, 13. Speed this up a little bit. We might actually be able to go and take this city. That would be amazing if, if we can. Down he goes, just as I tell the Highlanders to start riding in, there he is. Okay, excellent stuff. So, the gate is indeed open, and as he runs in, we are going to get a little bit distracted by chopping, but we were already headed towards the plaza, so that's fine. Both of you, chase him down, keep chasing him down, and oh yeah, I think we might actually just be able to sneak this from under their nose. That would be absolutely marvellous if so. At this point, the general is just going to chop down the very last horse, and that means the plaza is under our control. Oh, yeah. So, at this point, they are going to arrive. Unfortunately, they are running in, but in they come straight into us, and we just need to hold them off for long enough. I would rather this guy lives, quite frankly, 
But if we can find a way of just holding him off for two minutes, that'd be absolutely magnificent. He's actually just getting chopped down. He's actually just running straight into us. They're not even fighting. Oh, it's a shame. I want him to live. Route and flee. Route and flee, sir. I want you on my side, but I'd rather just take the castle or take this city. Um, a couple of them did get through, by the way. So there is a couple men. You just need to be... Oh, no, they've stopped. Down he goes. The other guy is dead. I'd rather he join my side, but I'd much rather we just gain the city. So 144 to survive. And the rest are coming. Here are the glitchy peasants that I think caused the problem last time. But you know what? I mean, I can't control the gates. There's a medieval tier, remember. So unlike Rome, I can't walk up here, stop. But they can always walk into their own city. But I can stand here and chunk them for a minute or so it takes for them to arrive. Yeah, I think we have absolutely got this. This is magnificent stuff. We're ending the battle as soon as, soon as that time is up, by the way. But you guys... You guys just need to hold this. This is going to be absolutely glorious. In come the peasants. There is a massive amount of them, by the way, but it's just 30 seconds. I don't think they can make it. They're just running straight through. Oh, no. Can they make it there in time? That's kind of glorious. Okay, they're silver servers, by the way, of course, because, yeah, the Hyden Rabble are supposed to be the Scottish unit for the peasant replacement. But for some reason on this, they just gave them peasants. They're not going to make it. They're not quick enough. Oh, you darn, darn lazy, slow-ass fools. Beautiful. And yeah, half the men might have gone down, but here is victory. Oh, yes. Edinburgh, you are... My, they will be yours. There's not much Christendom, to be fair. It's mostly rebel anarchy, but... Oh, that is magnificent. Such strong units. They've got two generals, held off the peasants. Lovely. And with that, Edinburgh for, for Scotland. Sack the settlement and we've just gained ourselves Scottish forces. Oh yeah. Edward Canmore. Where's the fight? You missed the fight, Jibby. And uh, this guy, who's a genius, by the way. He was a genius. He decided to stay well out of the way. Oh, healthy as well. Very nice. A healthy, cruel and cunning genius. Okay, that's an excellent mix of things. Uh, Sophia has plague. Let's not worry about that, but well, that was certainly an easier way of taking out Scotland than I envisaged. I thought we were going to have to have a full-on, uh, yeah, lose in Venice and then swing back. But yeah, we just got the most perfect battle there against uh, the Scottish in Venice. Just, just toying around last time worked beautifully. And at this stage then, okay, actually, I might just put down a watchtower. We have a little bit of money now after that second. You get into Edinburgh. Same with you, sir. The Inverness army is absolutely fine. We just have some more boats. Do we need all these boats? Do we even... Oh, my gosh, there are so many of them around. We need to take some of that in. Okay, Scotland. Uh, they're gone now, which is absolutely magnificent. And fine. Captain, did the guy die? Looks awfully like he did. Okay, they've already got equipment, which is unfortunate because we cannot make it there until a next term. So we might be losing Carnarvon in the short term. What do we have to defend this? Three peasants, uh, a couple of hobbilars. Hobby, hobby, I could have got another one of those, actually, but I didn't want to spend all my money. Oh, well, three peasants, two hobbilars, and three male knights. Oh, that should be enough to deal with stuff. There's some chunky hill skulls who are good, but that doesn't protect them from the... Uh, the cavalry charge. Okay. Interesting. We could have a bit of a sally with our cavalry and see what damage we can cause, but yeah. Okay, you know what? It's more fun to let them attack because, you know, uh, it's always fun to defend a castle, so we'll do that. We'll do that. But lots of boats appearing. Saxons are still fairly strong. On this occasion, they haven't lost half of their force in London to the Normans so yeah they actually had themselves a fair amount of units although if they have by the way ah okay their army's in York so it's probably the Nottingham army yeah it makes sense the Nottingham army is the one that's over here because they were attacking those peasants last time maybe that little tease has done us some good here Nottingham is looking fairly empty there's a few thanes in there but yeah, this is looking very positive for us and over in North Italy, we do need to go deal with Popey McGee. So into Bologna we go. And by into Bologna, I mean, we will just try and siege it out for a couple turns. See how that goes. 
we have ourselves some stronger units here. Italian Spear Militia are, of course, pretty nice. Armoured Sergeants as well. So, yeah, between those two units, I can't really argue with that. But we'll leave the Pope. I have to burn all the random boats that are in the sea. Ah, we have ourselves a heretic over in this part of the world. Well, we might as well cause them some problems. Um, might cause some rebellion. Yeah, actually, more unrest, more rebellions. Maybe we'll get ourselves a city. Oh, that could be absolutely marvellous. Okay, I need to go burn all the boats that are in the sea. But aside from that, it's probably about time to end our turn. With all the boats burnt down for another turn, we actually do have some money to spend. So I'm going to go and give Bruges a Mott and Bailey castle conversion. That will allow me to do something with it in good time. Um, I don't know about the other towns around here, to be honest. But it does remind me that, uh, yeah, of course, I could actually go around and just very high tax rate all of these. I essentially want to ignore that they exist by and large, so I'm not going to do that. But we do want to get ourselves, yeah, the Inverness Upgrade Castle. That will give us some more units. And, okay, we'll just get ourselves Highlanders. These Highlanders, oh, yeah, actually, no, we'll retrain that unit. We'll retrain them. That'll be beautiful. We'll leave some rabble here because we actually know what units are designed for the faction. Damn it, Scotland. And elsewhere. Okay, Spear Militia up here. We could get a port. Town Hall does give a health bonus, but we don't really need to worry about that too much. I don't know if we can get anything really useful out of City Watch. Armourer, not the worst thing in the world, actually, to have an armourer. What will armourer get us? Heavy mail. Not sure how many of our units are actually going to need that, because, yeah, we're just on padded right now. Light mail. Heavy mail for the milled knights. Yeah, good point. Good point. That is quite a lot of money, though. Not worth it right this moment, but something to bear in mind. We actually do have ourselves over in Dublin. Um, yeah, a bit of safety these days, which is quite nice. I might get the... Hmm, should I get the road? I don't know that we need to spend that kind of money at this stage. So it probably just is now actually time to end term. But I thought I'd point out that we are just going to put a tiny bit of investment in to this part of the world. Maybe, just maybe, we need to draw a line around Genoa and say this is a castle and we're going to get some of our units here to deal with the Pope. And maybe Bologna can be that as well. If we lose Florence, we lose it. But yeah, Bologna, Genoa, that needs to be a little border with the Pope. And it looks like the Saxons are going to head straight on into Carnarvon. And this is going to be an intriguing little battle. Um, they've got some good units. Yes, Theodericus Elmort. Lovely. I thought it said that they only had a captain a minute ago. But apparently they do have their general again. Maybe he was going for a little peruse around the Welsh countryside. Looks a bit chilly right now, to be fair, sir. So, he has himself. Uh, peasant Spearman. One unit of Thane. Only one Thane. And only two Huskar. Okay. So some archers, some peasants, the three peasants, two archers. Okay, this is not an elite force. They only have one tower, one ladder, and one ram. Can we burn them down? Well, we do actually have three peasants this time to actually keep all the towers activated. And this is a proper castle. I think we're in a very good position to absolutely destroy them. Let's swing in. Well, unlike Inverness, we have ourselves proper castle walls. And with any luck, we will manage to take out their towers and their ram, just leaving them with the one ladder. So let's get our cavalry out, shall we? Where's my other guy? Where did you end up, sir? You are still in the city. Excellent. Okay, well, you are the general. You can just hang out here by the gate. That'll be absolutely marvellous. I am leaving one of my hobbilars back at the... Uh, yeah, just back over there. Actually... My good sirs, mailed knights, immediately run over there, intercept those ladder guys, that'd be fine. Yeah, I want to leave something on the plaza just in case everything goes tits up at some occasion. So let's just uh, run straight to those husk girls, just to cause them damage, and we've run into those ladders. I actually don't think I told them to attack the unit yet, but there we are. You guys need to get out of there, by the way, because those are actually husk girls, and that's going to be problematic. The same real issue for you. The mailed knights, however, can get a good charge in. So get on top of those peasants, that's a ram into these guys, that should keep them busy for a little while. Again, Huskars, not an ideal conflict, but it will slow them down. Um, yeah, much of the same nonsense currently going on. They're now distracted, they're now leaving their ladder alone, that's fine by me. If their peasants want to get caught in this kind of affair, let's just take out their peasant archers in the rear, yay! These guys, meanwhile, can just uh, make sure this isn't going all too strangely yeah this tower is now distracted i don't know where it's going by the way because i expected it was going there i think it maybe needs to go around on that little hillock 
Uh, that might be what's happening. So yeah, let's just uh, send the holly bars out of the way. And yeah, you just chase them down. You chase them, they're broken. They're broken. Well done, guys. You had one job. One job. Looks like the tower is moving over here now. If anyone wants to send their fire arrows, that'd be great. It looks like this time our castle has forgotten to... Um, we're the ones who have forgotten to send the missiles in. This guy is now just sitting here. I am really screwed up the AI, and I kind of love this. This is excellent. They don't know what they want to do. They get themselves reorganized, but we're not even shooting the towers because... There we go. Now if they're starting to move them again, hopefully our towers are going to start burning it down. Now, presumably we've done quite a lot of damage to them so far. 27%, that's decent. Not as much as I might hope, but it's good for the time being. Uh, there's some more peasant archers over there, so we'll just get them dealt with. We need, yeah, run across here, sir. I'm not sure how happy you're going to be about it. We need this tower to be dealt with. It is about to make contact, so... Let's just... Are there any peasants this time? That's fine. They haven't got the good units here. So we'll just go on top of those peasants. That is going to disrupt them a little bit. And there are the Thanes. Thanes are not what we want to see. Very nice units, by the way. But, yeah, they are, once again, very distracted. Cavalry at the rear seem to have largely cleared off their archers, which is excellent news. We'll just stand here by the ladders and we'll wait for them to decide what they're going to do for about the fourth time. Interestingly, their general is technically King Harold, or at least that's the name of the unit, so that is uh, that's something. Also, obviously, he's quite, <laughs> he's quite noticeable there, their general. Uh, so hopefully we, we can aim all of our missiles at him. Ah, uh, looks like they've got themselves perfectly lined up for us to smash into them. Some peasant spearmen, which is an interesting phrasing, isn't it? This isn't the most common unit in the world, but it's nice to see them once in a while. Peasant spearmen, basically, you know, kind of just a militia unit, really. So, smash into those guys and immediately pull out once again. That tower doesn't seem to want to burn, but as we know, they're not going to do anything about it as long as the units are not technically pushing it around. Don't know why, it's a bit of a strange feature of the game. Well, this time they've got King Harold to go and take over the towers, so fair play, lads, fair play. They've officially made it. In some ways, interrupting them seems to have, um, yeah, meant that we've barely got any missiles land at all. And they are just going to... just in time. Ah, oh, that's not... Oh, we've got one stab. <laughs> one stab at them there. That's fine. Okay, they're now going to pile into that tower, so we need to get the cavalry out of there. There is actually only one entrance this time. So we can't run him all the way around to safety, but we've got a lot... Oof, the Huskulls just absolutely hacks them down. That is brutal. So we do have cavalry in the rear. They can charge into those guys while they're lining up. Yeah, they've given up on the other two things. Uh, but uh, while they're lining up, we can get some good charges in. So we've got Thanes and Peasants at the rear. Yeah, hit those guys. That'll be absolutely magnificent. So the king himself, or the, the king, the, the, the general, I guess. This this occasion... I'm, <laughs> Unlike Miniature Nerd constantly calling any general the king, this guy at least at least labelled as King Harold, even though he's not the king. So on this occasion, he's the guy pretending to be king, and that means that he needs to be brutally, brutally murdered. There's Glitchy McGee. Hi, Glitchy McGee. Uh, silver surfers are always good fun. Right, he's going to take on some peasants, which should be amusing. These guys probably need to go under guard mode, just let the towers do as much as they can. At this stage, do you want these peasants over here anymore? By the way... um. Your mighty cavalry have been doing some charging. <laughs> Let's just get those guys to uh, pull out of there. Yeah, get these peasants to come and reinforce. These peasants can come and reinforce on this position here, just to make sure we have a bit more here to defend when the general arrives. We can potentially get us around, which might just buy us a little bit more time. So yeah, you guys just shift across. They're pretty much ready to go now. Yeah, there they are. So they're... We, 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 we decided to move at the exact moment that they arrived. So there's King Harold's unit, technically. Um, he's got some nice chunky axes. Um, I'd very much like my general to actually be, you know, uh, on cavalry. But on this occasion, it gives you a very nice unit to go and take walls. So the Saxons, probably a particularly strong faction for wall taking, just because you've got the, uh, yeah, you've got the general there, which is very nice indeed. You guys apparently routed pretty much the entire of their force, apart from the elite stuff. So yeah, the Thanes, the Huskarls, and the General is what's left. So otherwise, yeah, we're going to do some chunking, unfortunately, at this stage. But not too bad. Only you guys do anything. They're mostly facing the wrong way. 
uh, which is not ideal. Turn around and maybe poke him, lads. General, looking very bloody there. Oh, the Silver Surfer's looking bloodied, isn't he? He's going to go down pretty darn soon. In come the reinforcement peasants to finish him off. He's taking quite a lot of hits, to be fair to him. I think he's getting shot by the tower, actually. He's right in the terrible position. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. I believe in you. Take down the sort of king, not real king, but he's got him. There's a, yeah, there's a Huskull in the rear trying to sweep, but I think he's just actually killing his fake king more than himself. How many hits can this guy take? No, Steve! Steve, no! Oh, slain by the king himself. What the sort of king? I'm going to keep on calling him king. Can the next Steve manage it? One of them's got to do it. He's so blooded. This is excellent stuff. It's nice to get down close and filthy and personal in this kind of affair. There are cavalry back there. He should be doing something. Um, I think we can just about retreat, I hear them call. I don't think I can quite manage to click. We'll just get them. No, not you. You get the king. You're still at the front of the screen. <laughs> Trying to get them to chase them, but I don't want to miss the king dying, for Pete's sake. Okay. He is fighting long and hard, by the way. Uh, how is this going? Not too well for these guys. It's taking a while. So in the third unit, I don't think we need that tower activated anymore. Let's get everyone in here. He's right at the front. Fair play to this chap. Fair play. Down goes another lad. Sword right through the groin and then through the heart. I wish this guy would just join my faction. Come on, sir. You can make 21. Have we done any damage to him at all? I feel like we probably haven't, you know. I think we're better off maybe pulling him off to the plaza and hacking him down there. This guy won't die and he's pretty much killed the entire peasantry of Wales by himself. What an absolute hero. But, um, yeah, surely, surely they're queuing up to kill the king here. But one of them, <laughs> one of them surely does it. But he just taps them and they fall, fall to their death. Oh, this is, this is not good, is it? This isn't good at all. We're a good half an hour on, I think, at this point. Where it certainly feels that way. The peasants have given up. The cavalry are returning. And the general's just lining up to deal with these guys when they fight. Oh, brutal animation. Yeah, stabs right through the Achilles and that guy. He, see, he knows exactly what every single individual peasant's weakness is. This guy should truly be king of the anarchy. I wish he was. But yeah, our peasants are. Some of them are fleeing for our own kind. But you'd think one of them could take him down. They're down to 14, by the way. They are losing men probably entirely from the tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh impressive stuff okay he's lined up now he's ready to go let's get these other guys into some other potential positions if we uh, ever do need to finish this off over here uh, another charge from around this angle yeah these cavalry over here that's absolutely fine oh you'd think one day we could kill them uh, they're broken around him but they're just standing around like utter melons there we are. There's a double kill for the general as ever. <laughs> oh, this just doesn't get dull. These guys are maybe just running, actually, guys. Get into position because I don't know that these peasants are going to last too much longer. But it is a heroic stand of nothing else. You'd think before they break. You'd think we could take him down. But, yeah, half of them gone now. And the peasants have given up. No, King Harold has won the day. And with that... Oh, the Thanes chase us down. These elite infantry here from the Saxons are too much to deal with. This is a castle, damn it, but we can't do any more. We only have peasants available here, so that is it. Okay, 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 okay. Time for us to see what we can do from this position. 13 of them. Saxons are running forward. There's one Huskull here. Let's just send this guy forward to deal with him. That's just one. Let's not ruin the general's charge. Okay. King Harold is now facing the next... <laughs> Alright, it's not the king himself, it's some of his unit are now facing the next thing. These peasants are routing. Guys, come and help them. Come and help them. Yay! They're, they're not really helping, are they? They're just bringing the route towards my own men. Oh, dear. Um, well, at least they're going to regroup eventually. That's fine. And when they eventually all die, I guess this unit can do its charging work. So, over here... Um, yeah, kind of... The idea, lads, was that the general was ready for this charge. So <laughs> I'm going to pull the general back a little bit and reset that up. But I reckon we'll be fine. So you guys are your Huskulls. So we'll just make sure that we charge through you a moment. General is ready to go. 
Come on, sir. Give us a proper charge into this, lad. There we are. These guys are routing, but... Come on. Come on. Get your lances down, Jibbe. Jibbe! The, the lances weren't down at all. Okay. <laughs> Utter misery and failure once again. Ah, oh, once again. Miserable, miserable failure. Okay, these prisons seem to at least repel them. That's good work. So, King Harold down to 11 at this stage. Okay, he's going to run straight into position. Oh yeah, you get yourselves up on that wall. Look to our defense, you, sir, charge into the king, the sort of king. Let's follow him in. Dun -dun 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 and King Harold's running away. No, there he is. There he is. Charge. Oh, -ho -ho. the horse head butts him, and with that, he's finally dead. The peasants couldn't manage it, but the horse. Oh, yeah, you can always rely on a horse. So. Peasant spearmen are coming back. I didn't realize they had any. Apparently, some of them just managed to sneak onto the back of the old, uh, yeah, onto the back of the old siege tower. That's fine. Those peasants have fled. That's fine. Charge into those old skulls. We've got this battle, I'm sure, but it's uh, it's been a chunky old slow affair, hasn't it? And the general once again fails to land the lance hit, but at the very least, the huskulls are yeah, they've lost quite a few men from that charge anyway. That's not too shabby. You guys get yourself around to those peasant spearmen. I reckon the Thames are pretty soon going to break. We'll just bring our lads forward. Or oh, back to the plaza. That's not forward, Tommy. That's behind. But it's fine. You guys get around to those peasants and deal with them. They're going to break immediately. They are indeed broken. That means we're going to get the surrounded. Okay, lads. All units. Charge on those Thames. Charge. Oof, this has been a bit of a defense, hasn't it? Yeah, lesson learned. These uh, Saxon infantry are pretty darn tough, but there's some spearmen to finish off. But they're going to get the sandwich treatment. And there we are, a lovely Saxon sandwich to finish off this battle. No, 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 no. We need to ride them down. <laughs> Run down the worthless peasants. They've already done that to us, so don't worry about that. Let's go and get our, uh, yeah, our light lads to go and finish them off. Send the two after that, lad. And send those 32 off there. Everyone else can have a bit of a rest. And, uh, okay. Chunky affair, but we had the money to re to reheal this, so 62% to 95. That was an absolute massacre. Before we, uh, oh, well, these guys are up here on the walls. Let me just send our infantry to go and uh, chase those guys down. That'd be marvellous. Look how many of my peasants are dead on this wall. Quite a lot of them. I suspect it's all the towers, by the way. There are a few of them there, so you know what? Maybe someone somewhere in this battle actually did a decent job. Finally, the peasants are reclaiming their section of the wall. And all right, there's a few towers in there as well. But the steeds have done the job and they've certainly been humbled. Oof. What a glorious, glorious victory. Traditionally, well, traditionally, technically a heroic victory. Um, Theoderica's Ermolt. What a goddamn peasant slaughtering hero. I mean, he did some impressive work. How many did the peasants actually kill, by the way? Um, 11 for 19. Not too bad, sir. On to the new turn then, and the Pope is sending an army to go deal with Florence, which, okay, I could go and defend it by converting it to a castle and then come back. I, uh, I'm i going to hold off, actually. I, I was considering it, although they can reach me. You know what, then? I will, because I, I really don't want them to reach me, and I don't want to head into this place immediately. I'm going to send the weakest unit back to Florence. They will defend it as a castle. Over here, we have ourselves that, and there's a proper wooden castle. So yeah, Mott and Bailey over here. Oh, is that too much of my money on those two? Probably. We'll, we'll do one or not the other, and that'll be fine. I could probably do with spending it here if I'm going to spend it anywhere. A couple forces. That's good. Send them back over to Wales. And on the note of Wales, oh yes. We have a force now. We have ourselves a force now. So, get some retraining done. But we're getting ourselves a nice army over there. Inverness is getting its castle upgrade. That's beautiful. And some spear militia over here. You know what? A couple of those, not the worst idea. We can always, yeah, we can always just use those as free upkeep. So that's not a problem at all. Fine, a recruitment report. That's just those two up there. We still have Plague over in Sophia. And as for Rome, yes, as we see, we've got the Pope uh, launched himself in this direction. See, so yeah, Bologna, 
potentially problematic, but everything else, okay, this is looking very good. I almost don't know what to do since I sunk their boat, although I did see an army, by the way, in the turn and head north. So not under siege, but not, um, oh, not vulnerable. Okay, they had some extra troops somewhere, so maybe the army sent to me was some extra ones or they trained new ones here. So not as weak as I maybe imagined. I thought we might have just destroyed half their force, but apparently not. Fine. Um, I don't mind investing down south with the Pope. I think we're doing okay right now. Time to end our turn. Ooh, a Saxon army wandering back towards Nottingham. Possibly that Norman attack is coming. That'll be exciting if so. Oh, they're finally going to deal with Harold. It didn't look like they didn't actually attack, though. Pope is now being blocked by Florence, which is what I wanted. That might just be a speed bump, but at least that prevents Bologna from getting any reinforcements this turn. They are, though, still going to sally forth, and this does mean we are a unit down, which is a bit of a problem. Nonetheless, I still suspect we have a good chance here. All right, they have mailed knights, so do we. They have two units of Italian spear militia with experience, so do we, without the experience, of course. Armoured Spearmen or Armoured Sodents against their general. If we fight this the right way, we should be fine. But, um, okay, a little bit of an awkward one. Could do with the extra Spearmen, although then they, they were by far the weakest. So we'll see how this goes. Let's hit him. Well, isn't this beautiful and so, so cute? You never really get to see a proper little village like this. Ah, oh, it's lovely. There's even some ruins, by the way, back here, which is, yeah, just magnificent. I was hoping race over here myself sir because there's actually a very nice little hill but uh, it turns out that they want to run out here now it does mean they've left their infantry over on that flank okay we can still very much make this work for us get our spearmen running out here my cav is sort of in its charging position or where it was supposed to be ready to charge let's just get everyone around here that's fine now their infantry are way out of the way as i say my spearmen just need to get vaguely into position to deal with these cavalry. And if I'm honest... Oh yeah, they're just standing just in that little divot, aren't they? Oh, this is perfect. Right, get the cav into support charge position, which is over here. I would have got this into Shiltrum and just to guard the position, but they look like they're offering me a much better opportunity here, which is just to charge on in. So let's just get these guys running on in. I think that's probably the best plan for us. General is ready for the charge. Yeah, you head into there. That is perfect. So, in we pile. Sheer spearmen just piling on in there, guys, over there. In comes a cavalry charge. We're not going to hit them that well, but it's a little bit of a charge onto this flank. So, that yeah, that's at least killed three or four over there. That's absolutely magnificent. You guys, can you just get around the, the flank here? Actually, no, let's just pull you back from it. Pull you back. The, the spearmen should have this. They should really have it. Let's just get you into position if we need a second charge. The spearmen should be fine, you think. Um, this unit's already taken a fair bit of a chunk. 11, yeah, 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 yeah. Spearmen are doing this absolutely beautifully. They've got themselves split up, which is perfect. The spearmen aren't even reacting to the situation. And we're going to get another charge in into a few of these units. And that's the general right there, actually. So this is going to work out nicely. I thought we might well lose this, but this is as good a start as I could possibly have asked for. In we come. And now the general is very, very isolated indeed. That is goodly news for us all. Okay, cavalry, just get out of there in case the general gets himself killed, which I don't really want to happen. But yeah, they're now pulling out of this, aren't they? Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that at all. Get these two units to keep on keeping on. You run into those guys. You just make sure that that general does not get back in. There's only two of them at this stage. No, 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 sir. You're going down. Oh, Italian spear militia, man. They're pretty darn nice, aren't they? Okay, their infantry are now returning back here. Now, they're technically the attackers here. So, you know what? No, if you're going to bring your infantry back to the plaza, I'm just going to, yeah, get myself back on this hill get my cavalry in position to charge if i want them to do so and we're just going to wait we're going to wait sir and you can come and kill us if you want but i suspect you're mostly just going to die mail knights are coming for a second charge but they decided to rout as soon as they saw the corpses of their friends well done guys it's probably for the best isn't it i would probably suggest so okay 
these guys just get the reinforcements down that hill if they want to come at us they are charging up this hill here good old hillock is going to help us out now this is a pretty even affair we are slightly this guy's winded and warmed up but i think a charge would be pretty darn nice get a charge down the hill okay that is excellent so spear militia in that position there so yeah we just want to try and get a little bit of flanking if we can get yourselves into that position general to be honest, General, I'm going to say get around the flank, because that's good. Now, this Mailed Knight is a pretty good chance for them to rout. Yeah, might give me a routing advantage. And charge down the hill. Did that do very much? Yeah, they broke them. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. I thought this might be chunky, but no. Done and done. We'll run down what we can, but we'll uh, we'll end the battle before they get back to the plaza, because it's all done. Yeah, we, we, we're not going to capture them. That's fine. We'll leave it at that. That is a lovely, lovely victory, by the way. And with that, looks like we've secured ourselves from a bit of the papal expansion in northern Italy. Bologna is back under our control, which is excellent news. We will occupy it 11 florins. And now the Pope himself is marching northward. Okay, do you want to do anything to defend Florence? I don't know that I do. I really don't want these guys... Hmm. This could be interesting. I could send these guys to reinforce. But I might just be yeah, a bit more tactical with that. Okay, let's ponder that situation. But for now, where are we over here? Right, Carnarvon. Carnarvon, Carnarvon, Carnarvon. That'd be lovely. Now, get my cab just in case this guy gets caught out in the wilderness. Yeah, just one more. There we go. Can't quite make it back, but that is excellent. We now have a good vision and he should be safely getting back to the castle. Right. So, over here. Over here, over here, over here. That is some units. Now, oh, we got ourselves a new boat. That's good because I could do with some boats in this part of the world. We have a heretic right here that we want to ship over and cause them some problems. There's some heresy, marvellous stuff. You've done your job, so you can now go. And you can just blockade that Norman dock, because we need one boat over here. You can now go as well. Dublin won't need to be shipping people over. Carnarvon and Edinburgh will do what we need them to. Now, you, sir, likewise, we need a little bit of vision in this part of the world. Hopefully, you know, the Pennines aren't blocking us too much. That suits me. So, we are... Now in a good position to kind of view over York. Can't see what the units are, but we can, at the very least, feel quite confident in our position. So, yes, some Highlanders and some mailed knights. That's looking better and better. Does anyone need any retraining, by the way? A couple of you do. Galaglass, I can't do anything about yet. You head back there for retraining. Carnarvon, do we want to do... We don't want roads just yet, but we will get some roads. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, this isn't looking too bad. Perugia would like the upgrade soon enough. Genoa might well get bribed, but, you know, it'll be amusing if that happens, quite frankly. Uh, we should be able to get some units once that upgrades. We need to decide what to do over here, though, because, in theory, let's just see what this is. So, ooh, we're the same, but there's Pavis crossbowmen this time. I don't know that I can deal with General and Mailed Knights out in the field and I can't get these guys in hmm I could get them standing next to it but the Pope's already moved in this direction I think what we need to do is take that as a speed bump we need to batten down the hatches over there at the next town so okay where's some unnecessary money that's being spent how much do they need about 800 I think Inverness come here not cancel that, we need that. Mailed Knights we don't need right away. That's just me getting some armies ready. You convert over to a castle. At the very least, we can defend you quite easily at that point. So we're going to have ourselves a ring of castles here. Ideally, we'd have Florence to pin them in. I did get Naples done as well, by the way. So, okay, nothing to train here. Don't really know what we get out of the Southern Europeans. It's been ages since I did the Rebel campaign. Obviously, the culture decides what we can... Uh, create which is obviously why over here in Khan we can get ourselves 
Longbows, three longbows. Uh, over here, this is more English culture, apparently, sorry, Wales. And this is more Scottish. So, yeah, we have a variety of troops. Um, this guy, by the way, um, I don't think I paid for these, but these guys do move by themselves if you don't use up the movement points. So we'll just get him moving in this direction because, yeah, heretics can cause them some problems, even if it doesn't cause us any problems. The Pope is going to head straight into Florence. There's not a lot I can do, but we'll see what we can pull off. This is not much of a defensive structure, so uh, might just be a how much can we do on the plaza job. Let's hit him. The one advantage we do have in this battle is that there is only one ram, I think. They didn't bring anything else, so I guess it might just burn down. Um, seems unlikely, but at the very least we'll keep the towers on at the start because we'll at least burn down a couple of their men. Any Pavis crossbowmen that are dead leaves me a very, very happy man. So, 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 I suspect, yeah, I don't think any of them have even hit the ram yet at this point, so let's not worry about that, and it's now raining. But it's fine, we'll keep the towers on for just a little while, and hopefully some of them will be dead. But I do need to keep a little eye on the gate here, because we need to run us back to the plaza before the gate actually falls down. How much does each ram do on this basic level? 10% for each ram. Okay, fine. Oh, run, 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 run. Yep, down goes the gate very, very quickly indeed, especially when you press 60, Thomas. Okay, so we are just going to get ourselves onto the plaza. Thank you very much. And a little bit slowly, but there's the plaza, and we're technically there when the cavalry arrives. So that's something, eh? Okay, so... On the plaza, what are they going to do? Take their time, apparently. Do you want to shelter them? We do if they're going to send their cavalry in first. So yeah, sh cavalry there, then we can shelter them there. I think they're sending crossbow bolts in at us right now. I oh, know, there come the spear militia. That's unfortunate. Fine, 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 fine. We'll take them on and we'll just see what we can do. Bit of a shame. So yeah, they're better than us. So we're down to 54 already. They're at 58. Unfortunately, the AI has been quite sensible. We could have just sent in the general to do Oh, we could send in the general. Looks like he is sending the general. Let's get on top of that general, please, guys. If you can take him out, I'll be actually quite happy with this. Kill the general, please. Oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Kill the general. He's at 15, still 15, still 15. No. No, we're not routing, of course, because we're on the plaza, but we're not managing to do anything. Um, there is the general right there, right on that flank. Can we just bring everyone over this side? There we are. Now we're getting the general. Um, no. Oh, I don't think we're going to make this somehow. Down goes Steve. And the general is gone. We tried to kill their general, but yeah, the last one standing next to him has failed. And with that, unfortunately, it's going to be pretty minimal damage, about 16 men that they killed. That was pathetic, lads. But, eh, 23 gone. It's something. Down goes Florence. And I think like last time, we're probably going to end off the episode with a rather meek defence from one isolated unit so down he goes that's absolutely well it's not grand but it's good enough i guess Ooh, mailed knights in green fine so you get some mailed knights there we need you to be upgraded so that we can get something else out of you as well mission failed to reinforce milan honestly that's not really the kind of place i'm too interested in no random units popping out of rome which is a bit of a shame but you know what if they're going to leave Rome quite so empty, yes. I might find an opportunity in Naples, you know. I'll have to think about that one going forward. So, Florence has been occupied. Okay, respectful enough, Popey McGee, and nothing too interesting on there, to be honest. Inverness! Inverness is a full castle now. Love it, Jibby. And, yeah, Genoa's got its upgrade, and we've already seen that. So, at this point, have ourselves yeah, a chance to retrain those two guys. In theory, there are some more things we could be building, but I think I think it's time at this stage yeah, to go and smash up York. So, they're getting their retraining done. They can rejoin us later, I think. But I would say it's time for us, yeah, just to get our forces organised over here. You head back into Inverness. 
you can't afford to retrain you. That's a bit I of a think. shame. Yeah, we're lacking the cav in that army, but we do have plenty of cav over here. So, if I... Hmm. I need to work out the logistics here, but if I can work this out correctly, then we should have ourselves a good army to go and take York. Because I don't need all of this cavalry to defend this. Now that I've got the reinforcements, I need to try and sneak these guys up north. Now, one way in theory I could do that is... Hmm. Could send a boat... Don't actually have a obviously the boat hasn't spawned over here on this particular turn, has it? No, no, it is not. But yeah, I could send them up. Alright, we'll try and organize those reinforcements next time. Can over here. Well, we are going to retrain some nice longbowmen there in the future, because we'll need a good army to take on the Yeah, the proper you. proper Norman army over here. Now, yeah, William the Conqueror over here with some more of his proper troops as well. That's gonna be the hard stuff. Uh Nottingham. That could be a tricky one as well. But York, we'll start with York next time. That should be a simple enough affair once we get our forces organised. We can have them. Oh yeah, we're looking nice now. Get the road ready to send those horses away. That will be magnificent. Aye. Mr. Aye. Boat, you're not useful to me at all, so you can be disbanded. But I think we're doing pretty well here. I think this is looking good. Scotland have gone. The Pope is, I wouldn't say under control, but he's been contained for now which is about all i could ask for to be honest and as for the normans they're not at least doing anything which is positive because whilst they could i guess be killing off these saxon towns they're also by far the most scary and they currently can't train anything new because they only have a city so that's very worth bearing in mind maybe we can sneak in there at some point well we could but we can't get spies and we can't get any darn siege equipment but we'll work out all of those problems next time but for now I will leave you, I'm Thomas, this is Tenergist the Human, and this has been our Rebel Prologue campaign. Thank you, and bye bye Oh, it's definitely burning down! Woohoo! Peace. Peace, just take peace. Utterly rejected. Why are you such a nonce? Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was absolutely insane. This is such a mess, I have no idea what I'm doing.